Um, as I said before, the machine wasn't charging, so I've took off the old dynamo, which uh, fits onto those brackets. Not easy brackets to alter because, as you see, they're like it's not a full bracket; it's two brackets just fastened front and a little bit further back on on the engine. Also, uh, the cables have been kind of <laughs> no cut away. There's no fuses, no fuse box at all. It's all just been removed. So I went and picked up a. Uh, an alternator yesterday from a scrapper and um, well now it's up to make it fit. Well, this is the old dynamo, the one that came off the machine and it's normally fitted with a bolt through here, bolt through here and then this is the tensioning bolt at this end. Now, I'm not going to be able to fit the new one on there because as you can see there's quite a difference in the fitting. So what I plan on doing, I have this bar. This is 10 mil interior diameter, and I'm going to just fit it with one bolt. So I need to cut a piece of tube for it to fit between here and here, so it doesn't pull in. It has to be fitted tight. Another piece of tube to fit between here and here. Another piece of tube to fit between here and here and then I put one bolt all the way through from the bracket now this fits on the outside of the bracket the bracket sits in here on, on these and it sits in here so I have to make it so that that fits into the bracket with the spacers so it's exactly in the right place with the cogs for the belt and yeah, uh, just a few cuts on bits of bar and then a bit of thread bar, a couple of knots. Yeah, piece of piece. 